Hey guys, hello and welcome to the Speedy Medical. I hope that you are doing absolutely fine in your preparation, be it for the USMLE exams or your NEET PG. And thank you so much for showing such a great response on my previous two videos in which I discussed the slot strategy and I discussed how the first aid can be helpful for your you know NEET PG exam. And uh, I you know also referred to the specific sections. And uh, I was happy that you know most of the peoples they were having an idea regarding the first aid and they knew that resource and uh, many of my batchmates also took that video very positively and uh, they changed that approach of you know doing the micro and uh, biochemistry and also you know i am in touch with my friends who are currently preparing for need pg and they are just saying that most of the questions in their cubanks or when they see the previous year questions be it inict or be it need pg uh, they can be easily covered from the first aid microbiology section are uh, not complete uh, like i won't brag it huh because even in the usmd you don't know like whether the whole of the things will come from the first aid or not but uh, they say that like 80 to 90 percent of the questions they can be easily covered from the first aid now in this video as you have already read on the thumbnail i'm just going to you know uh, bring and another you know a view of first aid like how else the first aid can be you know used let's you know put on a scenario and then discuss how you know what i want to convey now you know there is a difference between pathology the manner in which it is being taught in our setup and uh, what is being taught in the us curriculum okay so let's say you know in uh, obviously in second year we read pathology uh, we read simple, let's say we are talking about the renal section, we will simply, you know, read glomerulonephritis, nephrotic, nephritic syndrome and we will be done. But that doesn't, you know, apply in the US. Those people, they study AKI, acute kidney injury, the thing that we, you know, study in uh, final, pre-renal, renal and post-renal azotemia, they study in second year, okay. And not only, you know, just the pathophysiology, they will learn about the burn creatinine values. Like they will just learn that in pre-renal azotemia, the burn creatinine ratio is more than 20. In renal azotemia, it is less than 50. Now, talking about acute tubular necrosis or, you know, uh, uh, or, uh, you know, the things like that. Those people, they study it in second year. Talking about the urinary incontinence, all the three types of urinary incontinence, they are well versed with those in second year. Not only this, this is one thing. Second thing I want to discuss about, let's say neuro, strokes, all the strokes, you know, whether it is brain stem, uh, mid brain stroke, bone stroke, you know, medulla stroke, lateral medullary syndrome, medial medullary syndrome, lateral condyne syndrome, all is being, you know, taught in like first to second year. And everything is covered in this holy book or the first stage. Not only this, if I talk about cardio, Acute pericarditis, presentation, cardiac tamponade, back stride, uh, dilated cardiomyopathy, restrictive cardiomyopathy, all the stuff. Even, you know, uh, like uh, ejection fraction, uh, like heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, heart failure with preserved ejection fraction, everything is written in this first year. Ascites, SAG, you know, like uh, ascites due to increased uh, oncotic pressure, ascites due to, uh, sorry, decreased oncotic pressure, ascites due to increased hydrostatic pressure, everything is covered. Manifestation of ascites, gallstone ileus, ascending cholangitis, like everything is, you know, just given in this book. This was just, uh, you know, three sections, nephro, uh, cardio and gastro I was talking about. Think of endocrine. You know, all the men's syndromes, carcinite syndrome, manifestation of diabetes, microvascular, macrovascular complications, so statinoma, carcinide, glucagonoma, whipple's diet, everything is given in this book. Uh, talking about hemat, all the leukemias, you know, uh, like everything about the leukemias that you, you know, like uh, even are taught in medicine thing, okay, that is given in this book. Uh, talking about psychiatry, it is given in such a nice way in this book. Like I cannot like say how nicely it is presented. Talking about reproductive, uh, won't say that it is absolutely equivalent to gynaeops, but uh, it has covered. Okay, uh, I am not talking about gynaeops in this moment. So by giving all these examples, what I want to convey is that no matter if you haven't studied medicine or if you are short of time for studying medicine till you need PG, 
no matter doesn't matter doesn't matter at all i want to convey you that if you have time start going through the chapters start going through the units uh, like give daily 2 hours or 2 and a half hours till your exam let's say not 2 and a half hour just give it 1 and a half hour till your exam go through the cardio section go through the renal there are 10 10 sections at in, uh, in total cardio endo hemat gastro then musculoskeletal then uh, neuro then uh, psychiatry then renal recipe reproductive okay just go through these sections and i guarantee you like 60 to 70 percent even like 75 80 percent of the questions in your uh, exam from the medicine section they can be easily covered with this book like there are so many youtubers these days who are like uh, who are throwing light on this book like how this book can be useful for your medicine and i am also you know uh, like I am also saying the same thing. If you don't, you know, trust me, just go and see the UVL question and just compare the level of UVL question with the QBanks that are being used for NEET PG and INICT. You will clearly know. If we can attempt the UVL question reading this book, I am sure that you can attempt any other QBank just by reading this book. Not only this, you know, like CT images, MRIs, X rays, everything is given in this book. So yes, if you are short of time for your medicine and if you, if, you, if you consider that if you cannot study medicine, then I will say that just go through this book, Physiopathopharma section till your exam and I assure you, you will easily attempt 65 to 70% of the question. So thank you so much for watching this video. For more videos like this, do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much.